Good morning, Fort McMurray, Wood Buffalo, and the rest of the world. You've tuned in to the Max City Morning Show. I am your host, Elliot Pierre. And we're going to start the show off with, the same way we start every show off, with a moment of gratitude. I know you could be doing a million other things with your time, and the fact that you spend it with us truly does mean the world to me, so thank you. On that note, Tanner, hit him with the intro. What do you have, boss? Welcome to the Max City Morning Show. Hey everybody, Keith Simpson here from Neural Toyota. Uh, just a quick chat about uh, the wonderful community we live in here. As you guys know, we support the oil barons. We've joined the drive-in movie theater. We're involved in the uh, marathon here in Fort McMurray and make sure we're taking care of the kids and all the local businesses, all the local charities and all the local foundations, guys. That's what makes this community such an amazing place to live. And we were back. Big shout out to Noral Toyota uh, for being the title sponsor for the show and also allowing us to film down at their location today. Thad, Nimmer, Keith and all the boys and girls down here, we do appreciate your ongoing support. On with the show. As you know, I don't introduce my guests. They can do a better job at that than myself. Uh, this guy, this is his second time on the show, but you've only seen him once. So. Uh, can you tell everybody at home who you are and what you're about? Yeah, for sure. My name is Cal Kingswell. I'm the vice president of Knights Rugby in town here and a 17-year uh, member of the team as well. Okay, there so, we go. Yeah, that's, that's me. So I'm just going to get right into it. Last time we filmed, we had some technical difficulties with the mics, but you were very excited about a game last time we spoke. Oh, yeah. So yeah. how did that, so there was a rugby match for everybody at home who yeah. was playing in the rugby uh, match? England versus Ireland, yeah. Okay, and you were cheering pretty hard for? England is the team to cheer for in my books, but okay. uh, we, didn't, we didn't get the result we were looking for that day. So. No? no? Was it close? Was it a nail biter? What, tell Let, me about let's this Let's just move on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let's just move on. <laughs> I love it. All right, so let's talk about rugby in Fort McMurray. So yeah. what we actually did give you a shout out. We did our uh, YouTube only episode last week and we spoke to you a little bit, or that. spoke about you guys a little bit. But basically what's happening right now for the first time, well, maybe not the first time, but in a very long time, rugby in Fort McMurray, um, it's not doing so well in regards to you need participants to help and get out and play. So let's try to make people aware of like what's yeah. going on. Yeah, so our, our challenge right now is that um, our adult programs are suffering for, for athletes. Yeah. Um, and, of, and of course, uh, most people in the community don't, you know, not too concerned when an adult program diminishes a little bit. I mean, it is all about the kids, but right. um, it, it is a bit of a narrow-sighted perspective as, as our adults and, and many sports in town, the, the adult level is the facilitators for the youth program. That's right. Um, right. So, yeah, we're, we're looking for athletes and, and maybe, maybe you don't even consider yourself an athlete, but we, we take everyone and anyone, That's right. whether, you know, there's guys that are much bigger than me, much fitter than me, and we've got other people that are on the other end of the spectrum and we welcome them just as much as, as anyone else. So, That's right. Athletes is the name of the game right now and, and getting our name out in the community, which this is this is one of those avenues of of that. I mean, there's many times throughout the years of playing, I've gone into the community and, and talk about rugby and, or strike up a conversation casually and people, you know, the comment is, oh, there's there's rugby in this town. Yeah, yeah. And it, at this point, it's, it's just becoming uh, unfortunate that people don't know about us, right? That's right, that's right. So, <clears throat> so if people wanted to get involved, like, I, I have seen rugby. I grew up watching rugby here in town. It was big back in the day with like the Fijian boys that have, yep. I, I grew up with. So they'd be, hey, come check this out. But if somebody's interested in registering now, like how do they do it? Do they go on your website? Is there a Facebook page? How do they get in contact with you? We're actually constructing our uh, website right now, but our Facebook page is, is the place to go. There is a couple of them there. We do have our Fort McMurray Knights RFC, which is our adult program and kind of our overall page. Right. Then we have our uh, flag program. So it'll be the Fort McMurray Knights adult flag program we started. So mm. there's a page for that. And then uh, the Fort McMurray mini program, which is our youth program, has their own page as well. Right, right. So any of those, um, there's advertisements going around that have my phone number and, and my WhatsApp on there, which is... There you go. Uh, risky business, man. Uh, risky business, but well, well, worth, uh, <laughs> well worth it in my books. Yeah. So in regards to rugby, like I loved your story, how rugby played a part in you moving to Fort McMurray. Uh, so yeah. can like I, I asked people like, hey, how did you come to Fort McMurray? And you had one of those stories that was just like, so let's hear about that, please and thank you. Yeah, so uh, born and raised Vancouver Island, and and uh, you know building log homes out, peeling peeling logs in the rain, and 
not really loving it, not really kind of making making a huge dollar. And, and a friend of mine said, hey, he said, I heard this mystical land uh, where they hire anyone and you can just show up and you make a, a pile of money. And, and I said, yeah, well, take me there kind of thing. So That's right. I played I played for uh, Port Alberni Black Sheep on, on Vancouver Island. And I said to the coach, I said, hey, he said, heading up to McMurray, is there a team? He said, yep, here's the contact info. So. I texted my the, the fellow that I didn't know, who's actually a good friend of mine now, Andy Lloyd, and, and said, hey, you know, he didn't know who I was. I said, hey, I'm coming up. Yeah. There, you know, when's practice? He said, be there Tuesday. Perfect. So we, we went in, had a team meeting, and, and there were so many new people at that time, 2006, right? Lots of new people. Mm -hmm. I put my hand up, introduced myself, where I'm from, said, if I, you know, if I have a job, I'll stay. So I was brought to brought aside in front of you, wrench in the Fijian group. So uh, Mata brought me aside, who's, you know, the grandfather and the father of the whole Fijian group, and said, he said, if you if you play rugby, he said, you, you he said you start tomorrow, be here, be this time, but you play rugby. I said no problem. So here we are, 17 years later, and yeah. and, we're, and I'm the vice president of the club. So yeah, that is such a cool story. Like, and I like that story because, to me, that's what Fort Murray was back in the day, and it's nice to hear stories like that of some people literally came up here and then found themselves in a group they'd yep. be like for you rugby and it was just like oh we want you to do this so badly that we got connections yep so we'll hook you up with something whatever you need if you're willing to like play this sport recreationally with us we can figure out some employment opportunities for you well that's <laughs> and that's that goes hand in hand with rugby and the culture and, and last mm -hmm. time we talked a bit about the culture and yeah and respect and and values and, and looking out for one another and 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 there's not a club that i haven't been to uh, you know across canada or the west coast right and you drop in and hey can i pick up a game and, and have a beer with you guys or, or yeah. water or whatever you whatever you want to get into and, that's right and they're more than welcome to throw you a jersey and and ask about your story and and see where you're from and and whatnot and that's that's a big part of the culture of rugby. yeah we talked about that a little bit last time this and we talked about and i still forget their names and i'm I'm more than sure you're happy I keep forgetting their names. But there's a very uh, infamous, famous rugby club down in uh, the other side of the world. I don't know why you keep the, bringing up other rugby clubs yeah, other than yeah. England rugby. But, the bla uh, Black Jackets? The, the All Blacks. All Blacks, there the we All go. The All Blacks are the infamous, yeah. infamous team. Uh, their, their record is That's quite right. uh, quite impressive, actually. I read a book about them, and it kind of blew my mind in regards to... They, it, was, it wasn't a book on rugby, it was a book on like just sustaining... Um, camaraderie, teamwork, yep. a winning attitude, and a big component of it was like after these games, these superstars have to clean their own locker room. Yeah, and this is something that, like, when I read that, I'm like, that makes a lot of sense. And from back in the day when I saw the rugby club, and you're saying like the respect and the camaraderie, like literally from something as simple as cleaning your locker room to like playing the game, there's this level of respect. No job, no job too small. Right? Yeah. No job too small, and 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 one of the big things, which we talk to our parents about, with our new new minis program, our youth program, and and we're we're getting some traction this week actually in the high schools. Yeah. One thing we want to bring along with not only the sport and and the benefits of of rugby, is the culture and right. and, and and I don't really mean to knock any other sports by any means here. But, um, you know, you'll see other sports where you, you argue with the referee and, you know, they get in their personal space, if you will, and, mm -hmm. and kind of are threatening. You'll never see that in rugby. You will never see that, especially at our level. In our club, it's not tolerated. It's, if you get in trouble, which I have once, maybe twice gotten oh, a penalty, yeah. and it's a thank you, sir, sorry, sir, I'll move on. Yeah. Um, and that, that, that's where the culture goes. Right. It starts there. It starts on the field and, it's, and it trickles into cleaning the sheds, if you will. Yeah. Picking up tape after, looking after your grounds. It doesn't matter if you're the coach, the vice president, or, or a new player. It, it's part of our culture. Nice. Listen, it's a cool sport and I love watching it. And I hope like you get all the players that uh, you're looking for and you get that support that's yeah. coming out. Us, us too. Yeah. yeah. But uh, you know what's about to happen. It's called the Max City Minute. Tanner's put some questions out to us. Tanner, unfortunately, couldn't be here today. Um, he got called out on a very important government mission. Is that why the sound's going to work this time? That's right. Okay. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, no, that, that makes sense. <laughs> that makes sense. But he did send us his questions. Perfect. So, but before we get to the questions, we got to give a big shout out to McMurray Denture Center. They are the sponsor for this segment. If you're playing rugby and you get your teeth knocked out, 
and need some like uh, some falsies put in. Maybe you need like a whole new grill. This is the place to go to. They're right down the street from Naral Toyota. Check out McMurray Denture Center. On with the Max City Minute. So, what is the most intense moment you've ever had playing lacrosse? Rugby. Oh, it says lacrosse, but lacrosse. We, I'll, I'll go with rugby. We'll, we'll go with rugby. Yeah. <laughs> My most intense moment. <laughs> oh, that's, uh, there's quite a few. There's usually quite a few. Yeah. Uh, I'd have to say last summer I, I played against the um, Canada over 30s, which is called the Canada Classics, and four of our local men's team were selected to represent Canada. Okay. And um, as you spoke of the Fijian boys, yeah. the, big, the big lads there, if you will, yeah. um, lined up against me and uh, got to got to try to take on uh, a couple of our big boys there, and, and they were they were playing playing to win, and so was I, and and lining up and seeing. Uh, a fellow by the name of E2 who oh, rolls around at about no. 280, 300. He's a big boy. And, uh, yeah. and that was probably the most intense moment, seeing one of your longtime friends grinning at you across yeah. and, and you're gonna, gonna put it to the test, right? So it was fun. He's a big boy. He's a big lad. He's a big boy. Okay. Um, what is your favorite part of organized sports in Fort McMurray? Uh, just that camaraderie we spoke of, you know, how I showed up in 2006 with, I literally knew no one. Mm -hmm. And by the time I left, uh, you know, that training session and an introductory session, not only did I leave with a job, but I still have those friendships to this day. Okay. Uh, guys that I can call on any time to, to get together or, you know, stay at their house, uh, you know, you know, challenges in life. A lot of those guys have been there through the thick and the thin and, and they're still there. So. Right on. Okay. If you could be like any pro rugby player, who would that be and why? Oh, that's a tough question. I've got eras of guys I would like to be. Um, uh, right now, if I were to pick someone on the scene, Sam Underhill. Um, he's an England flanker. He's an absolute stud. Uh, Mario, Mario Toje, he's a, he's a second row for England. He'd be my second pick. Okay. What is your fav What is your go-to way to relax after a good rugby match? Uh, just uh, an afternoon, usually at the at the field. Once we come off, we peel the peel the jerseys off and have a super cold water because it's incredibly hot in Alberta to play rugby. Right. Um, and yeah, just see my family when they're when they're there waiting, and just have a water and see my daughter. And there you go. And last but not least, why do you think a child would love to play rugby in this community? Uh, it's all inclusive and it, and we accept everyone there's we we really foster the culture as we sp spoke of, of of accepting everyone and anyone right um it doesn't matter your athletic ability a lot of times i get parents reach out and they say when's the tryout to my response is there is no tryout mm -hmm. if you show up and bring your dedication and your and your and your heart on your sleeve mm -hmm. you're welcome there you go right that's that's the big one very cool now, in regards to rugby itself, why, how did you get involved in this sport? Um, <laughs> I was in middle school, you know, yeah. got, got out of elementary and I, all the boys were like, hey, it's rugby practice after. And uh, my, my family background is English, so I, I'd heard a bit about it and went home and said, mom, can I play? And she said, well, you know, how much, right? Of course, as sports can be quite expensive. And I said, well, it's, you know, this much to join. And, and I need a pair of cleats. All right, let's go get you the cheapest pair of cleats so we can get you. In. That's right. And you know the cost was relatively low, and and that's how I got into it. Yeah. Really, I mean it. It was just you just need a pair of shorts and cleats and and your determination and will to play. Right. That's right. So that's and you I were able in. to play for quite some time. Like you're still playing, but you actually yeah. like made it a bit of a, a thing that you were doing for a bit there. Yeah. So started in grade five, and you know I'm to about 25 years in now. So. Yeah. Yeah, I don't really like to say it out loud because it yeah. dates me. That's right. How are you still walking around? <laughs> um, make friends with physiotherapists. Uh, my big shout out to our one of our one of our many sponsors is Acel Physiotherapy and, and close friends of mine now through through rugby and, and yeah. Ashley and Angie up at Acel they uh, keep yeah. me together. Yeah, they keep me together, keep me moving in somewhat of a a fashion that's less painful. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, just staying fit and and dedicated to your body is is definitely one of the things that helps, right? Yeah. 
Uh, knowledge is, is another part, knowing how to hit, knowing where to hit, mm -hmm. uh, knowing where to place your head, and, and that comes through the coaching. That's right. Right, That's so right. I do know, we did talk a bit about the chaos in which rugby is. That's right. Um, and, and we're currently teaching our minis and our youth in the high school how to hit properly, where to hit, and, and body position to, to reduce those injuries. Yeah. Because that's a big thing, I think, when people do look at rugby for the first time. I think when you look at any sports for the first time, it's nothing but chaos. But yep. rugby falls into that category. Same with Gaelic football, for that matter. When you look at it, you're like, what the heck is going on here? I still don't quite get Gaelic yeah. football, but it is awesome to watch. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but once you actually start watching it and once you start getting involved in playing it, there's like a lot of finesse that goes behind it yep. for those hits. They're not as impactful as some would think because you're impact you're getting hit differently the person hitting you knows how to hit you you know how to absorb that hit it's a completely different game it is i mean when when you do look at it as a you know on tv and in, and if you've never seen it you're like it just looks like bodies running into bodies there is a there is a you know underlying method to the madness if you will mm -hmm. um and we've taken on our, our club has taken on uh, a con concussion reduction program right. uh, developed out of the University of Bath in England alongside uh, England Rugby. Mm -hmm. and they've been able to reduce the overall injuries right. and concussion rate quite significantly. Yeah. And it comes to warm-ups and, and then the education piece, like you, like you said. So we're using that with our adults and, and we're, we're, we're refining it with our adult program and then we're, we're implementing it all the way down to our, to our youth programs. We'll take it with us into the, to the schools. Um, the new laws that have come out, I mean, you know, hitting from the sternum down. Rugby, you have to wrap. You can't just run your shoulder into someone. Mm -hmm. uh, there's, there, there is rules and there is finesse, as you said, yeah. within, the, within the contact to make yeah. it safer. Yeah, very cool. Well, listen, my man, that's the end of our 20 minutes. So as you know from last time, you got a shameless shout out or plug. So you got the mics, the camera and the lights. Perfect. Have fun. Uh, just a massive thank you to all of our sponsors. They can be found on our Facebook page. Um, we are actually in the market to to land a, a title sponsor for our, our entire program that's someone that's willing to take on our minis take on our adults and really develop the program in for mcmurray and, and be committed to what we're committed to is the culture and and seeing some kids hopefully in a in a red jersey representing canada some someday soon that'd be very cool and with sponsorship that would be a, a huge addition yeah well thanks for coming back again do appreciate it for sure obviously you don't f have any problem come back again and again so please do well, I think bring you more said, people i think you said you're coming field side i'm going to come to the field i want to do some more interviews i'm not going to play because i'm too soft <laughs> but i'll be a great cheerleader or maybe i'll be like brad carp and just be the water boy so i mean brad carp is a, a a secret weapon he 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 plays it off but he's a tough lad there you go awesome well for mcmurray wood buffalo the rest of the world thank you for tuning in to another episode of the max city morning show big shout out to noral toyota uh for being our title sponsor as well as McMurray Denture Center for sponsoring the Max in a Minute. We do appreciate your support. I hope everybody's having a great day and we'll see you tomorrow. Peace. I'm some crooked now that this show's over. I need another one. Talk about quenching your ugly thirst. Yeah.